Big news dropped last week. We finally found out who will be Spokane's next bishop. Hello and welcome to the Deacon Year, a weekly show about the life of at least one transitional deacon preparing to become a Catholic priest. I'm Deacon Kyle. As I mentioned in my first episode, my home diocese of Spokane lost our bishop back in November when Bishop Blaise Supich moved on to become the new Archbishop of Chicago. For me, that has represented something of a rather large question mark in my remaining process preparing for ordination to become a priest. Namely, who is actually going to be in charge of the diocese when I'm done with seminary? Who's going to call me to orders to be ordained? And then, who's actually going to ordain me? Now things are becoming very clear, and I am incredibly excited for it. So there I was last Thursday morning during spring break. I just sat down for a nice late breakfast, and then I suddenly remembered that the night before a priest friend of mine gave me a little heads up. Watch out for Bishop News. So I sneak a little peek at my phone, and sure enough, there were two messages already congratulating me about getting a new bishop. Like jumped up in excitement just at the surprise and the relief of knowing that we have a new bishop. But it was all congratulatory stuff. They didn't even bother to say who the bishop was. So, you know, pounding my phone, searching Google, who is my new bishop? Who is my new bishop? Bishop Thomas Daly, currently an auxiliary bishop in the Diocese of San Jose, California. Now this was doubly good news for me. First and foremost, the whole cloud of uncertainty surrounding what will have to happen in order for me to be ordained this summer went away. We finally have answers. We know who our bishop will be. I have every expectation that Bishop Daly will be the bishop who will ordain me in Spokane this June. Secondly, I actually met Bishop Daly before, which allows me to get even more excited at the announcement that he's going to be our future bishop for Spokane. From the few times that I've interacted with him, I could tell that he's a very fine man, a very personable, approachable individual, and it is his ministerial background that gets me really excited at the thought that my first years of priestly ministry will be marked by his Episcopal ministry in the Diocese of Spokane. So the way we first met was that back when I was in Bishop Boyd Seminary, Bishop Daly was actually then Father Daly a priest for the Archdiocese of San Francisco serving as their d director of vocations in charge of the seminarians preparing them for priesthood. And he would visit occasionally the San Francisco seminarians studying at Bishop White Seminary. So that's where I first met Father Daly. At the same time, I think he was also a president of a Catholic high school down there. Later on, after he was ordained a bishop in May of 2011, one of his responsibilities he had to take on for a brief time was serving as an interim rector of St. Patrick's Seminary in the San Francisco area. And just looking at this ministerial background, there is a lot for me to get excited over. Educating and passing on the faith, helping others discover their vocation, and then helping them fulfill that vocation. That is the kind of stuff that I live for. And this priest, this servant of God, will be my bishop. And that is incredibly exciting. Bishop Daly will be officially installed as the next bishop of the Diocese of Spokane on May 20th at our Cathedral of Our Lady of Lourdes. And I am sure that it will be a beautiful and joyous celebration. In the meantime, I will be taking special care to pray for Bishop Daly as he wraps up his responsibilities in San Jose and prepares for this next big step of taking the responsibilities of being our chief shepherd and pastor in Eastern Washington. Also, I should note that today is St. Patrick's Day, so I want to make two quick shout-outs. First, to my home parish of St. Patrick's in Pasco, and also to a place of one of my summer assignments, St. Patrick's in Walla Walla. I hope that all of you are doing well. And for you, viewers, thank you for watching, God bless, and happy St. Patrick's Day. <laughs>